How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. We had some new information about the Future Stars promo, which starts tomorrow. All the cards come out at their highest rating. The ratings are they've posted like 92 to late. They come out at those ratings, so it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun, and we're going to review so many players on this channel. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, drop a subscription to the channel right now and click that little bell as well. And speaking of good stats on cards, how about this guy, Nicholas Pepe? who we will be reviewing today. He's got 99 agility and 94 acceleration, including 91 shot power, which we will talk about in the review. So lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring the bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button and leave a like on this video. Let's try and hit 1,000 for this third informed Nicholas Pepe, which um, he's taken the league by storm this year. He's had one informed, two informed. This is the third one. He's doing very well. It's probably a shoe in for team of the season at this stage as well. So that being said, lads, let's hop in the review. Let's see what he's like. So here we go. Now, I was streaming on Facebook the day and I looked at this guy's price and I, was, I had to take like a double take. 46 I was like, what, what the, are you serious? For this guy's abilities, is he 46,000 coins? That's nothing in today's market. That is very, very cheap for someone with four star skills. Three star weak foot is the massive downside with the card, but he's predominantly left footed, so he can cut in and curve those beauties of time finesses into the far corner. He's got high to medium work rates, and his card stats on the base card stats actually look quite decent. 90 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting, 68 physical, meh. But um, the only kind of downside in the physical is his strength and aggression which we'll see in a second and he does have 80 passing as well like I was saying with the strength and aggression let's have a look in terms of strength it's 66 and 51 aggression he's got no real strength about him his balance is only 82 I say only 82 that's a good start at the same time, I didn't really see a benefit in that um, due to a lot of different things. Uh, probably his strength and aggression go hand in hand with the balance, but um, he was losing his balance from time to time. So uh, you can look at that and you can kind of critique that if I can spit that word out. He's got jumping of 81, stamina of 81. That is very good stats. Someone that's like six foot tall as well. 81 jumping is very, very good. Uh, however, you're shite in the air. He's got 60 head and accuracy, meaning uh, if you stand up the back post or anything like that, he's going to fail at the headers. He's just... He said that Chrissy just in there. I think I scored one header out of about five attempts. So, um, yeah, if you're relying on this guy for the back post headers and whatnot, you're relying on the wrong man. But if you're relying on him for, like, the time finesses and whatnot and some great goals, you've got your man right here. Look at this time finesse right in that top corner. Eat your bloody heart out, Nicholas Pepe. That was sensational. So, in terms of the finishing category, which you've just seen there, Great sign finish from Nicholas Pepe. He's got 89 in second position, plus 10 with a dead eye chem style. Takes it to 99. He's got um, 99 finishing if you add uh, the dead eye. He's got a plus 13 on there. It would be plus 15 originally, but obviously you can't max it out. So it's uh, 86 finishing on the base and then 99 with the chem style added. It goes to 99 shot power as well with the chem style. It's actually 91 and he's got 83 long shots plus 5 on that as well. In terms of pace, 94 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. He is fast on this game, and it is noticeable in-game, but at the same time, he's not as quick as like an Mbappe or anyone like that, so he's not going to replace those kind of caliber of players on this game due to his, um, his sprint speed, because it is very, very good compared to the normal, but uh, compared to the um, kind of end-game players, it isn't that great as he takes the golf swing, and just look at this finish on the replay as well. He stroked it into the back of the net. Honestly, that's a stroke of genius. Look at that. He just walked on the ball and just finessed it. Easy as you like, man. It's so damn easy. So damn easy. And when it comes to dribbling, we've got 99 agility, which is the key stat of the day, which you can see on the right-hand side of your screen as he lets off another beauty. Oh, it's time for this right in the top corner there and goes into the Gia Bingo celebration, I think that is. 82 balance and 85 reactions, 85 ball control, 85 dribbling. He's got a lot of 85s there, free and so on. And 80 composure. I didn't really have any kind of issues with the composure even though some people did point it out to me the composure could be an issue with the card didn't really find an issue the only issue i did find with the card well i say only issue he's got quite a few issues but um the main one when it comes to scoring goals and whatnot was that freestyle weak foot he is limited in a what he can see in terms of the best that's he got acceleration shot power and the worst of strength and heading the head accuracy just isn't that great as he sets up another goal this time was it zlatan ibrahimovic i think it was zlatan he was in the team and he was playing striker by the way nicholas pepe played as a right attacker midfielder in this formation because I wanted to test his wing abilities out. I wanted to see if he could cross it in. Unfortunately, uh, you look at his stats and you think, Jesus Christ, God could cross in there. 83 plus 5 with a chem style. Honestly, with that, with that freestyle weak foot, 
it was shit. It was it was bad. It was it was really really bad with the card. And I need to critique that as a card as he does score the only header. That's not even a great header, man. It's <laughs> it's not a great header at all. It's 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 very weak. It's not accurate. And it just beat the on-Russian goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, Baftim Gomis. That's his celebration right there. So let's get into his pros and last pace is numero uno because his acceleration. It's, it's lightning, honestly, his acceleration to lead up that top speed of 86 is very, very good. Yes, you can put a Hunter on him, put like a Catalyst, uh, a Shadow, I don't know why you'd want to do that. But you can boost that kind of pace up to 99, 99. but um, yeah, at the same time, you need to boost other areas of his game because he isn't that great at the technical side of things in terms of his abilities. As you see, a nice little back heel there from George Best. Time, well, that's not even a time, it's a low-driven finish into the near post. With Pepe, you can do that because he's left-footed, could in on that left foot, he can be very, very dangerous. When it comes to dribbling, uh, sensational. Apart from his strength, he does get pushed off the ball. He is quite evasive, but at the same time, he can lose his balance. So just keep that in mind. Uh, 99 agility, though. He's a very quick dribbler in this game. Acceleration, 94. Again, it adds to him being a very quick dribbler. Ball control of 85. Dribble of 85. And reactions of 85. He's a great dribbler in this game. And he's got four-star skills. So he can utilize those in the match. As I could have cut it back there. I thought, you know what? Let's test his shot out. And he's finishing it's good man it is good I didn't even have to time that I didn't have to load driven that I just took the shot and it went in the back of the net so when it comes down to finishing with this card you could easily play him in like a cam roll or a striker roll as a striker you'd have to have him like on getting behind and stuff like that because he is one of those strikers, uh, well, attackers, that's got high to medium work rates, great attacking positioning, and uh, yeah, getting behind, that would be ideal for this card. I'd stay forward on him at cam, he did a very good job, I'd free roam on him, his uh, positional awareness was very, very good, and he got into some very, very good, unique positions that Pepe um, scored from, or assisted from. He did a great job in that, you see a low driven go into the bottom corner, pass Courtois into the net. So in terms of the rest of his pros, we do have the shot power, which adds to the finishing 91 shot power like I said 99 with a dead eye comes down the movement of the card wow 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 his movement is sensational man he's always in the right place at the right time like I said I had free roam on the card leading him to do what the hell he wants what the AI wants him to do in game not me like particular um the AI was like controlling this guy's movement and I've got to say it was so damn good sometimes he, he dropped a little bit too deep in the midfield that's a medium defensive work rate coming into play but normally he was always in the right place at the right time making the right runs and I love that about the card when it comes down to cones you've got the crossing even though the crossing stats says 83 on the right foot it's just worse, man. It's just worse. Yes, he can cut back and whip it in with his stronger left foot. But um, sometimes you don't get the time to do that in the match. So I will say Crossner is a corner due to the freestyle weak foot. His strength is a con because he is very weak on this game. 66 strength and 51 aggression. He's got no fighting him whatsoever. And he will lose those 50-50s and physical confrontations. When it comes down to the freestyle weak foot... What else is there to say? It's three star, it's not very good. Yes, you can score on it. Yes, you can pass on the weak foot. It's not like he's got one leg. But um, yeah, it's, it's just not good with that weak foot. I said it, uh, what did I say yesterday with uh, Naki Williams? It's not great, man. It's not great. Three star weak foot on this game. You need four or five star, in my opinion. So all your attackers, four or five star, that will be bueno. So lads, let's get the overall rating for Nicholas Pepe because he is a good player on this game. He's nowhere near in game. Nowhere near the likes of Mbappe. So man, I, I'd rank ahead of this card. So for all, um, uh, for all the kind of pros of this card, for all the negatives of this card, the cons, I should say, he's going to get a rating of an 8.5, which is a good rating, because he's a good card, man, he's 86, he's got some great stats, and in game, he performs to those stats apart from the freestyle weak foot crosses, as you see, um, a nice little goal there in the background, oh, actually, I, I don't know what's in the background right now, I thought it was a goal, I'm just looking at real time on mine, I paused it to explain a few more things, but you kind of get what I'm saying, when you're doing this live, I'm seeing goals in the background, I was like, Jesus Christ, that was a nice goal, but anyways, guys, in terms of the overall rating, 8.5, it's fully, fully deserved, like I said, He's not end game. He's definitely mid tier kind of level. Um, he's not kind of start. He's better. If you had this 86 rated card at the start of the game, you'd be playing him, plain and simple. Uh, if you got like a league gun squad or anything like that, you would be playing this card uh, because he is very good in this game. But as a kind of like uh, end game player, no way near end game. His team of the season, should he get one, will be end game. You can definitely say that because it will be like. 
will it be like 90 something? It'll be in the 90s. And if you look at the, the Future Stars promo, they've got massive, massive ratings. So I'm expecting Team of the Season to be huge this year in terms of ratings. So his Team of the Season will probably be Endgame. But right now, this is just a mid-tier card, man. A mid-tier card. In terms of Olive Coins 9.2, I reckon 40 to 50k for this kind of card. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. You don't normally get these deals too often, but with a new promo coming out, his price could dip even more. I was looking at the price of his uh, previous two informs, like 21k, and then the next second inform is 24k. There's not much difference between those two cards. And then you jump up to like 50k for this card. I don't know, man. Is he going to drop? Let me know in the comments section below. When it comes to enjoyments, I got more enjoyment out of Mbappe easily. I got more enjoyment out of Tovan, which is uh, tough for me to say. But um, yeah, I enjoyed Tovan that little bit extra. So in terms of enjoyment right now with Pepe, he, he has those moments where he can sign finesse, he can cut inside, he can score those type of bangers that make you go, Jesus Christ. But um, yeah, sometimes it's just like, oh, I can do this with any old, um, I, I don't know, what's what's that random name? Like Joe, <laughs> Joe Bloggs or something like that? I could do with any kind of player on this game. Um, yeah, in terms of foot champs ready, he's got a 7 out of 10 stars in that category. Yes, foot champs ready, but like I said, there is better players in this card, even in the league he's in, which you can see down below. Mbappe would be the best in that position because Mbappe is Mbappe. Team yeah, Mbappe is the best on the bloody game. Uh, Toman would be in there, the league SPC, 87 rated. I rate him ahead of informed Pepe. And then behind Pepe, you got like some Cornets, you got the likes of, um, yeah, there's not too many League One prospects. In terms of Ivory Coast, uh, Ivory Coast, no, 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 that is Ivory Coast prospects on the right hand side. You just got Cornet, unless you want to drop Zaha to right midfield or something like that. You've just got Cornet, so uh, Pepe is better than Cornet. Let's just put it that way. In terms of the perfect links, you do have Warner at his club, which is Lille. Um, you got a bronze um, ray card, which isn't that great, it's not that great in the slightest. And you've got Cornet again if you want to play a 3 4 2 Warner. It would work as a strong link right there, or any other Lille player. There's not too many good like, options in terms of links. Or if you want to go broad for the weak links, Zaha's your man, and um, yeah, any league on player. That's why I've got Neymar, Zito in there as well. The similar players you have Toban, Lucas, and Willian. Again, speaks volumes to the card. The key pro is the dribble and freestyle weak foot. Is the corner the best camp style? Is Deadeye. And as you can see, with Deadeye, the rating per position, he goes to a 90 left winger, right winger, right forward, and left forward. And like I said, the best players are down there below. On the left, it's the league and within that position, so it's like league earner, right wings, right slash right forward, slash right midfield. And on the right hand side, it's the nation, right wing, right forward, right midfield. So Cornets does come under that category. And lads, that's where we're going to end today's review. You guys asked for this review. You said uh, Pepe looks like an interesting card. Well, he is an interesting card. Now, uh, I think I did a good job of explaining this card. I enjoyed using them uh, somewhat. So, lads, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, you know what to do. Bring that hype, smash that like, and let's aim for like 1,000 likes or, um, I was going to say Cornet, but it is Nicholas Pepe. And, um, yeah, tomorrow should be very, very exciting. So, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel for future stars content coming tomorrow. And, lads, that's how I'm going to end it. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will catch you all next time.